Texan, a Californian, and an Oregonian are traveling through the desert. The Texan is feeling thirsty, so he pulls a bottle of whiskey from his bag, takes a big swig, and throws the bottle in the air and shoots it. The other two are shocked, and the Texan explains, there's so much whiskey in Texas, the bottle's worth nothing. The Californian doesn't want to be outdone, so he takes a bottle of wine out of his bag, takes a big swig, then throws the bottle in the air and shoots it. He says, there's so much wine in California, we can afford to waste it. It's the Oregonian's turn. He pulls a can of Pepsi out of his bag, takes a big sip, then puts the can back in his bag and shoots the Californian. He says, the can's worth a dime. A young woman was waiting at a bus stop. After a few minutes, the bus arrived and the woman tried to step on board. Unfortunately, her skirt was extremely tight and she couldn't get her leg up high enough for the step. She quickly reached behind her and unzipped her skirt a little, but she still couldn't step up. She unzipped her skirt a little more, still no luck. So she tried a third time. Nope. Suddenly, she felt a strong pair of hands grab her by the waist and lift her onto the step. Well, she was having none of that. She turned around and saw a tall cowboy standing behind her. She got in his face and yelled, How dare you! I didn't give you permission to touch me like that. I don't even know you. The embarrassed cowboy looked down at his boots and said, I'm sure sorry, ma'am. I just assumed we was friends after the third time you reached back and unzipped my fly. Little Johnny was told by his friends that adults have a deep, dark secret and can be easily manipulated. Johnny decides to test it. He comes home, goes up to his mother, and says, Mom, I know everything. Mom shushes him and gives him $10. Just don't tell Dad, she says. Hey, it's working, thinks Little Johnny. An hour later, Dad comes home from work. Johnny goes up to him and says, Dad, I know everything. Dad gives Johnny a hundred bucks. Don't tell Mom, he says. Just then, the mailman knocks on the door. Johnny opens it and says, I know everything, mister. The mailman drops all his mail. His eyes tear up and he says, Well then, Johnny, come give Daddy a hug. Wife, how would you describe me? Husband, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Wife, what does that mean? Husband, adorable, beautiful, cute, delightful, elegant, fashionable, gorgeous, and hot. Wife, oh, thank you. But what about I, J, K? Husband, I'm just kidding. A cowboy walks into a bar and takes a seat next to a very attractive woman. He gives her a quick glance and then casually looks at his watch for a moment. The woman notices this and asks, Is your date running late? No, he replies. I just got this state-of-the-art watch and I was just testing it. The intrigued woman says, A state-of-the-art watch? What's so special about it? The cowboy explains, It uses alpha waves to talk to me telepathically. The lady says, What's it telling you now? Well, it says, You're not wearing any panties. The woman giggles and replies, Well, it must be broken because I am wearing panties. The cowboy smiles, taps his watch and says, Dang thing an hour fast. Putin was traveling incognito in the Ukrainian countryside and stopped to talk with a local farmer. How big is your land? asked Putin. The farmer responded proudly. From here to that big oak tree in the near distance is one side of my land. Same square distance all around. Farmer then asked Putin, how big is your land? Putin responded, he could get in his car all day and not reach the end of his land. Farmer replied, I once had a car like that. The agent replied, I'm sorry, sir. I'll be happy to try to help you, but I've got to help these folks first, and I'm sure we'll be able to work something out. The passenger was unimpressed. He asked loudly so that the passengers behind him could hear, Do you have any idea who I am? Without hesitating, the gate agent smiled and grabbed her public address microphone. May I have your attention, please? She began, her voice bellowing throughout the terminal. We have a passenger here at the gate who does not know who he is. If anyone can help him find his identity, please come to the gate. With the folks behind him in line laughing hysterically, the man glared at the United agent gritted his teeth and swore F you without flinching she smiled and said I'm sorry sir but you'll have to stand in line for that too